Okay, so listen. It's been a little bit, but we got some knowledge to talk about. Okay? Okay. Hey fam, welcome back to yet another video. I think I might try to do a weekly video at this time instead of my usual weekend reading vlogs because <laughs> just something different, you know, and I'm a little busy this week too, but you know what? We're going to roll with it because we have today, Monday, and Tuesday left of the month. I have finished so far nine books on my TBR. I haven't read the rest of them that are like potentially staring at me. Like quit. Like stop. But nine out of the 25 I wanted to read? Not bad. I know like 25 is like really setting it up there. I get that. But at the time wanted to try it just to see what we could do. Like I said I got nine done. I'm almost done with oh without knocking some books off the bed. Uh, I'm almost done with another one, so that'll make it 10 in 29 days. That isn't terrible, so I'm not mad about that. Not one bit. But let's chit chat about some that I want to try to read a little this week and into April because apparently like I said, I'm not going to get all of these books done. I want to, but if I don't, it's okay. I can just push them on forward in April, and hopefully April will be the month. Since, you know, we're all in quarantine right now. But, technically, I can still go some places, but everywhere else is closed here in my town. Like, I can go to work and I can go to the grocery store. But then come back home after because, like I said, everything's closed, the bookstore closed, which is sad. <sighs> Hurts. But when they get back up and running, you betcha I will be there. <sighs> There's some books that come out next month that I really want. And in May, I don't know if they're getting pushed back now, probably. Or unless if Amazon can grant me my wishes. Anyway. <sighs> Now, more of what I am reading. I am still in the middle of Chain of Gold, but I'm like got three hours left of the audiobook to listen to it, and oh, I'm obsessed. So, like, after I finish recording this clip, spending my evening with the China Gold. How you doing? <laughs> anyway. Chain of Gold, for sure, and because I'm trash and I've read half of this, but I don't technically remember because it's been a little while since I read into it, and like I said, since we're on quarantine, but we're not on lockdown, but things are closed. Anyway, I decided this was the time to reread the beginning until where I left off in Kingdom of Ash. You know, I still would like to get to House of Earth and Blood, also by Sarah J. Mass. This is where I said I'm trash, but not really trash, but y'all get what I mean, I think. But I definitely want to try to read more of this so I can get into this. It's just that the pages in both of them are like so thin, like I'm scared to turn them or to touch them. Because I don't want it to rip, and when it rips, please don't rip, please. But you know, it's just like it's so delicate, like you. Ah, words. Anyway, putting you back on my shelf, on my Sarah J. Mass shelf beside me. Well, the first half of the shelf is Sarah J. Mass. And I do still need to finish A Court of Wings and Ruin. 
I started half of it in like December, but like I never got very far into it. I got up to page 22 to be exact. But definitely gonna give this a try too. So then I can read this short novella. Haha. -ha. Why would we like this? We don't know. Uh, okay. And still not very far in the Assassin's Apprentice. I would like to be. It's a very short book. It's not that big, or at least it doesn't seem that big to me. But I think it's like almost 400 pages. Yeah, almost 400. 392, so not bad. So I can definitely whip through this guy soon. Probably this week. I work today, I work tomorrow, and then Thursday, and then the days between. I can read. Don't have to do much over the weekend. Because you can't really go anywhere over the weekend anymore. So we're going to make it a reading time sensation. Just roll with it. <laughs> And then I started a little ways into Wicked As You Wish last night, and oh, I enjoyed myself quite a bit, let me tell ya. I only got up to page like 4 or 5, around 4 and 5, so not too far into it, but enough to really like what I read. Sometimes I get that way with books, like if I like it from the very first page, most likely I'll end up liking it throughout the whole thing. Or if I get up to page 50, and if I'm still feeling it, then that's when I know I really like a book. But that's just me. But if I don't like it by page 50, then I don't try anymore. Like, okay, I tried it, I'm just not into it, so we're gonna put it down and maybe pick it back up later kind of syndrome. That's my method. And I'm still loving Kings of the Wild. Hint, I've been saying Kings of the World. It's wild, not world. But to me, I thought world. Because, you know, it somewhat looks like it, but it's wild. Eh. I try, okay? But for here, I made it up to page 52, almost on chapter 7, and I can't wait to read more. And I seen that there is a third book. I don't know when it's coming out in the series. But I need to finish Came to the Wild, then read Bloody Rose. I heard some... I heard Bloody Rose is... Oh, I'm scared for that one. But I heard it's just as good as well. So excited slash scared. There's that. And I definitely want to reread my Golden Sun book. Because I finally got the audio for that. So then I can re-listen to Morningstar after that and reread some first half of Iron Gold because I never finished it and I really need to and I know it's staring at me so quit it that I need to finish more of The Priory of the Orange Tree I need to finish Dark Dawn I need to finish like all these books I really need to get done and just get them off my list so they're done and read and I really need to listen to more of again Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, so I can read Grey Sister and Holy Sister. <sighs> There's a lot. And then I need to read some more of City of Brass because I really liked what I listened to it of, but I, <laughs> I run out of time with audiobooks and everything that I'm physically reading and listening to. Like, I still really need to finish Park of Kingdom, Blood, Air... Um, A Royal of River Blood, I believe it's called, Wicked Stains, A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I got halfway through that, and then like I set it down and picked up other books. Like, I do that a lot, I need to quit doing that. But will I? Your girl doesn't know. She don't know. But, I guess, during this time, we're going to really focus on some heavy duty reading and I also definitely want to reread the Hunger Games series because it's been since 2012 since I read that series and oh I was obsessed when it came out and there's a new book hopefully still coming out I don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on it I'm hoping this is 
technically would. So I definitely want to get some of that done, and I definitely want to read the Malice series because look how big, and this is for each book, they're, this is the second one. This is the third one. Look how big, chunky these series are, or this series is. Like, I'm excited, but also like, oh, what's in you? Why are you so huge? Like, it's intimidating, but like, not intimidating at the same time. You know what I mean? But we're definitely going to try to get through them. I'll put you back up there. And then, I also do want to start Truly Devious because, again, this one is like this book. Mm, Truly Devious might be a little bit bigger than Assassin's Apprentice, but you get what I mean? Like, it's not that long. I could probably binge this whole series one of these weekends, which I think I might do. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a vlog for Truly Devious. Because that might be fun. <laughs> so many ideas. I get my brain spinning. And then, I'm just pulling random books from my shelf, so don't mind me one bit, you guys. I've had this on my shelves forever. And I have the second book, but I haven't really heard anyone really talking about this series. But it's The Queen Rising by Rebecca Ross. Ooh, and it has the pages I like in the book. Oh, hello, light. Welcome back to the brightness. Y'all saw that it got brighter, right? But yes, I definitely want to give this book a try, along with the second one, which is The Queen's Resistance. So... They both looked really good and sounded really good, so I got them way back when I did. Have I read them? Obviously not. Nothing else fall down on me. Thanks. And then, another book I really need to finish reading it more into, Skyward. Like, I started half of it during December as well. And I only got up to page 18. That's sad. Okay. And it was really good when I was starting into it. Like, I like sci-fi. I really do. And I like some things in the outer space. Like, obviously because I like Red Rising Trilogy. I really like that. And I like the first Brandon Sanderson book I read, which is Mistborn. So, I think I would definitely like Skyward. I just need to find the time to get more into it when I don't have a crazy amount of books picked out on my TBR that I chose myself. So it was no one else, it was just me. But, you know, definitely want to do that. So maybe this week we'll pick which book I want to read and just, you know, go for it. This clip pro is probably really long already. I apologize for that. But, talking about books, and it's a distraction, and we all know we could use a bit of a distraction right now, right? So, through this week, walk with me into the book world where we finish Chain of Gold, get a little more ways into Assassin's Apprentice, I mean, don't hold it against me, but, I mean, you can if you want to, but either way it'll get read or, or it won't get read. We're just leaving it at that right now. And my butt really needs to get into gear on um, finishing a Kingdom of Ash because I've been blowing, blah, blah, I've been avoiding spoilers ever since this book came out and I keep seeing vlogs about it. I'm like... I haven't finished it. <laughs> when I originally read it, I left off on 235 and then like sat it down and picked up other books. Like, I do it a lot. It's a habit we'll ever break. We may, we may never know. And then I definitely want to finish this because it's really good and I, like, I 
like our main character. His name is Clay Cooper. Just the fact that his last name is Cooper, it kind of reminds me of Sheldon Cooper. So I think that's probably another reason why I really like it. But I'm weird that way, so we're going with that. And I had also, like I said, want to get more into this book. She's also the author who wrote the Bone Witch series. I read the first book in the Bone Witch. I need to read read the other two so see there again there's more books I really need to read and I also need to read more of Dark Dawn she says but will she I don't know but I also have an audiobook coming for The Witcher of the first book soon so I'm so excited and I did finish Arch Enemies but ending though I'm not gonna spoil it I promise this time but like <laughs> oh my god what a shit thing again dun, dun. and I did get through the audiobook for Glass Sword I really like that and again that ending as well it's just like what are these girls doing in the books like why Oh, especially in Glass Sword, I have a bone to pick with that one. But we'll get more into it at the wrap up, which should be coming soon. But I want to do it just yet because I know I'm going to get this bad boy done soon. And um, I love everything about this one. Just the kids, the the character, the kids and the characters, and just like everything about it. I'm glad there's gonna be more than one book in this series because I need book two like today. I know it won't come out today, but you know what I mean. It's like I need it. It's like right now, please. Cassandra Clare, hey, if you're watching, which I doubt she would be, but. Can I have book two? I want to know what happens to my children. Well, your children, but my, I need to know what happens to the precious people in this one. The precious. I don't know why we're talking like this, but we are right now. Okay, I'm going to end this ridiculous long clip and edit the heck out of it. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, let's be real. I have all that left on my TBR still to read and those three books send help hey fam welcome to Tuesday's reading vlog I had a Monday clip but I didn't like how it was so I like deleted it so Tuesday it is and y'all I got a new fan what? Check that beauty out. It sounds a little weird, but you know, we like it. How to move some things around that was there because my lamp is now there with the Big Bang Theory. Look at my little children. Look at them. I'm just missing Sheldon and Leonard, but I have Penny, Amy, Rajesh, Howard, and Bernadette, of course obsessed with that show so I had to have the Funko Pops of them like I said I'm just missing Sheldon and Leonard so eventually I will have them right there and oh so gorgeous and then my little fan oh and then my little Ashlyn character from Nevernight look at her just chilling with her blue eyes I got the one with the yellow hair and I got the other Ashlyn right here with the other blue eyes with Mia right next to the books. Oh, I just, I love them so much. And they're fun to make when you can. And yeah, she's got a weird little sword and I just colored her in. That's all I did. <laughs> but we're calling her Ashlyn and it works and I love it. So we're going with the flow. All right. Now... Oh, now you can see these guys a little bit clearer and together. Look, there's Penny. You can't tell, but she's got a Cheeto puff in her hair. Oh, love it. Okay. 
I will be back in a second with the rest of this vlog. Hey fam, welcome back to Wednesday. I know I said I was going to come back last night and give you some updates on her eating, but huh, I got sidetracked and I didn't do it. But I'm putting away some books that I did a fun little challenge for, which you guys may or may not see before or after this week's reading vlog, probably before, maybe, if we're good. But, I'm going to try to take you into what I want to try to read this week, or finish, or whatever it is we want to do, because we don't know yet. And then I'll get in the clip here. Okay. Oh, well that was an exciting <laughs> intro to this video, or this video, of this clip of Wednesday. Okay, it is now April 1st as we are filming this, so it's exciting, I think. Anyway, so I have not uploaded my April's TBR video yet, oops, but I will probably play around with, the, around with it this weekend because I have this weekend off finally because I've been busy with work and it's just been crazy times and <sighs> you know exactly how I feel but I did start a little bit of a two new books I started listening to the audiobook for Harry Potter number four I am on like chapter seven already so that bird is really good on my end it's due in a few days and it's a huge book so I'm always gonna try and listen to a lot of it this weekend and I definitely want to try to get more into the second book of Shadow and Bone which is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo I read Shadow and Bone last year I believe I know it wasn't too long ago, but it's been a little bit and I never got around to the second or third book. So we're going to be doing that this month, reading the second one and maybe reading the third one next month. So then I can finally read, read, <laughs> read King of Scars. It's been a long day. <sighs> I'm a little tired, but we're filming this video anyway. And I also want to try and finish more of Seven Blades in Black because it's really good and I have still left off on chapter 15. So I don't even know what happens to Sal in this one. Like, mm, girl, we need to know more. And I also really want to finish Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames because this is really good and I have book two. Book three, I think, comes out, I think it said next year, maybe? So I need to read the first two so I can have that in my hands when it does come out. And, of course, I want to read more into Wicked As You Wish because it's really good. I got a little ways into it. I am still on, like, page six, seven, so a little ways and I remember really liking it so that's good and I definitely want to get into Crescent City this month I was going to last month but I read nine other books that I wanted to read but I still haven't finished that TBR yet so I think they're gonna drag on into this month as well so maybe I won't do a TBR video I'll just do like weekly vlog of which book I want to read next for the next two weeks so we might do something like that so we'll see we'll kind of play with it and I have been reading a few pages in to Kingdom of Ash to get up to where I left off so I can finally finish this book and know what happens to Aelin and the rest of my babies. I am up to page 26 so far and I just need to read more of this this weekend and maybe try to read start Crescent City maybe do a vlog 
because I know I want to do a 24 hour readathon on Friday afternoon into Saturday night so hmm, these two books are definitely going to be on it the couple audio books definitely help and of course Siege and Storm is definitely going to help uh, Wicked As You Wish Kings of the Wild Seven Blades in Black and I also want to start the comic book to The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. This is the first volume. I don't know if book two is coming out yet or not, but I definitely want to start this this month. And I also want to start the manga for a maximum ride so I can get the rest. Oh, those books did just fall. Oh, go back. Go back! The books fell down. No! Stay. Stay. These books are mean. And then I know I said something about wanting to start The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Illisting? I think that's how you say his last name. I don't know for sure. But I definitely want to get into this because I have the first two books and then I can get the third book when I finish them. They sound really good. And I have all these plans for all these books I want to read. It's, I want to say it's crazy, but it's not crazy, but I like it. And I definitely want to start a Doctor Sleep so I can watch the movie finally. That's all I've been waiting on, but I might crack and watch the movie and then read the book. I don't know what I want to do first, but either way, I'll still end up reading the book, but I've been wanting to watch the movie forever. Because I liked the first movie. No, it won't go back in its spot. Go back. Okay. Alright. I believe that is all I have for updates for right now. Oh, and for Siege and Storm, I got up to page 8 so far because it just started it this afternoon, so that's not too bad. I would like to be a little bit farther into it, so we'll read more into this one tonight, and maybe a Kingdom of Ash tonight as well. So we'll just kind of play back and forth between which one we want to read. And... Well, before we maybe do that, I think I'm going to start a vlog for Crescent City because it's time and it's way overdue. So, oh, I'm going to end Wednesday's clip here and you'll see me in the same shirt. That's okay for today because we're going to get a ways into Crescent City. Why the heck not? It's Wednesday night. Not a lot is happening, and I'm a little bored, and we got some heavy reading to do. So we're going to be doing that, my friends. It's definitely okay. It's a filming day, and this is what we're doing. So, you can see me a couple of videos in this shirt. So, uh, get relaxed, sit back, get some popcorn, and let's go! Oh, hey fam, sorry I forgot to update like Thursday and Friday, but it is now Saturday and my readathon that I was doing for 24 hours is about up and I've been listening to a lot of Harry Potter, but I've also been trying to work on filming and this is like, you can barely see it, there we go, 13% uploading for... Spelling April with my books video, and then we have another video up and running, which is a weekend reading vlog number two, because I left it off, like, back at the end of February, or February, March, of that video, so there's that. So, I will end this clip really quickly right here, and then... We are going to talk about, you know, reading updates, and there's all my videos that I have planned, some that are already uploading, which, which is this one, and a weekend reading vlog, that one is for October, love it already, I need to do that one, 
secretly working on this oh we love it and then we're also working on this video so two videos we are working on or er, well three videos sorry there's one two and three and then this one and that one is uploading and then eventually we got to do February's a book haul and March's book haul together. That's gonna be super long. Yay, we love it. All right, we will be right back, folks. Maybe. Hi, fam. Welcome again to Saturday's weekly reading vlog. I'm gonna end it today, even though I'm short on a few videos, but I'm trying to make it up. So I'm gonna have two clips of Saturday, so it'll be fine. But I didn't did finish my 24 hour readathon a little bit, but I did mostly get a chunk of listening into Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling, which I wanted to do because this audiobook is due back tomorrow, and <laughs> it's a big beast and I wanted to finish it because before I got halfway through this and then the movie came out and then I put it down. I don't remember how far I was into it before the movie came out, but I was young. I didn't want to finish it then, but now I try to read the books before the movie come out or even if I see the movie now and then I just go and finish it after I watch the movie. I didn't do it with this one, but I am now, so years down the line later. But anyway, thoughts on Harry Potter, the fourth book, from what I've read so far, the one through four, I, I really like the third one, and so far I'm kind of liking the fourth one. I didn't really think I would like the series. Well, I mean, I, I know I liked it when I was younger, but I can't remember if I, like, I particularly had a favorite book or movie, but... Like I'm saying right now, I really enjoy the third one and the fourth one. The sixth one I do find a little boring. I don't know if my statement will still stand once I get to that one in the movie again. It might, I don't know, but here we are. So for the Harry Potter and the, and the Goblet of Fire, I got up to chapter 25 which is on page 462. I'm around that area. Only, well, 42, or 62 or 63, but I am very far into it. I have like a little over 200 pages maybe or so to go. So I'm gonna try to finish this within tonight or tomorrow for the book, for the audiobook version. And I'm loving the audiobooks than physically reading them this time, so yay for me. I've never really uh, read the seventh book, but I remember watching the movie, but I remember pieces of it. So it's been a long while, so refreshing my memory a little bit, but there's that. And I've also gotten more into Sage and Storm by Lee Bardugo. I am no longer on page eight. I am on 28 right now. And um still don't really like the Darkling, but Mal, he is questionable. I like Mal, but I don't know if I like Mal and Elena together. I mean, I know she likes him, but like at the same time, she's still trying to figure out if her feelings for him are like really there or if it's just what she's going along with because he's finally noticed her and like... <laughs> We don't know, but that's what we're going with. And then, I also have a little update for Crescent City. I am up to page 10 in it so far, and I really like it. I'm almost on to another chapter. I haven't picked it up since Thursday when I last read into it. So we will definitely pick up more of this. Siege and Storm. And of course, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Why we did it that way? Because we like to make things fun, okay? But yes, my goal for this weekend is to definitely finish this bad boy. Yeah, at least close to 200 and this one. And 
maybe 50 pages or close to 70 in this one. So we got goals. We'll see if we'll, we can reach those goals. And maybe I'll try another weekly reading vlog again starting tomorrow afternoon. So, yes. And if you guys like these weekly reading vlogs, let me know down below after this one is posted and you watch it and you like it. Let me know if you want more weekly reading vlogs or if you just like the weekend reading vlogs, which I start Friday through Sunday. So, let me know. Because <laughs> i got nothing else better to do right now except for try to tackle my TBR, bring the books down, set it up. But for right now, they keep going up, set it down. But I am on 31 books so far for the year, and we're now in April. For me, that's pretty darn good. Last year, I got up to 88 books for the entire year. Let's try to be 88. Can we do it? Can we do it? We is definitely going to try. So hopefully by October, I will let you guys know then what number I am on. But I like to brag about it when I'm at work. And one of my coworkers will like to ask me what book number am I on. So, love that. And the fact that they remember, sort of. But we like that. Anyway, I will see you guys hopefully again tomorrow for another weekly reading vlog. Reading vlog. Why are words so hard? I don't know. But they are. It's bizarre. <laughs> and a little hyper, so. Hmm, it's a mood. Anyway, okay. That is all I have for this video. And I. If you guys are new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like bell, the notification. You know what to do. So, there's that. And I will see you guys hopefully in a new video soon ish. <laughs> Alright, bye fam!